ad that is coming from your campaign, Mr. Havenstein. Maggie Hassan's first term, expanding Obamacare in New Hampshire and exploding the state budget. Now her administration is asking for $2 billion more. Hassan has supported over 100 tax and fee increases. Now this reckless spending will lead her to only one choice, support an income tax again. Governor. Well, I oppose an income or sales tax, and I would veto it if it came to my desk, something that Mr. Havenstein knows. He also knows that the uh, ad is misleading, uh, and he knows that we don't have a $2 billion uh, request. He knows that I've already sent the uh, agency heads a letter saying we're not going to increase the budget. He also knows that we came together and passed the most bipartisan budget in over a decade in New Hampshire without a sales or an income tax to, I to make sure that we could implement our innovation strategy. It's a budget that has turned us around from the Bill O'Brien years and helped us move forward. It's a budget that made sure that we could freeze college tuition, double the R&D tax credit. The innovation strategy also allowed us to come together with members of the business community and both parties to fund our roads and bridges and also to expand health care for over 50,000 hard-working granite staters so they now have the health and economic security necessary to be productive members of the workforce, which is why the Business and Industry Association supported it. All right, Mr. Havenstein, your opponent characterizes this ad as misleading. How do you defend it? It's not misleading at all. The fact of the matter is we're spending faster than we're economically growing. You cannot have that. You cannot have economic growth flat and spending like this. It is what I call the AFLAC approach to fiscal management. We've got to close the bills. We've got to bring our spending in line with our economic growth. The problem is our economic growth is pitiful, is pitiful. Let me talk a little bit about bipartisanship. The Senate finance chair referred to Maggie Hassan's behavior as toxic partisanship. Toxic, poisoning conquered. That is not the kind of leadership we deserve. All right, Governor, please take a moment to respond. Well, first of all, it's hard to take uh, Mr. Havenstein's uh, comments about fiscal responsibility seriously. He is proposing tax giveaways to big businesses that would blow a $90 million hole in our budget, taking us right back to the Bill O'Brien days where we cut university funding in half, where we defunded Planned Parenthood, where we cut critical services for children and families and derailed our economy. We've put together an innovation strategy. We did it with a balanced bipartisan budget. And the bipartisan results we achieve, I think, speak for themselves.